like how nobody mentioned it, by the way. <laughs> I, <forget. laughs> I need to change that though, because the the actual I've fiddled with my actual overlay scene, so that this is actually my uh, <laughs> this is my game capture screen. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Back to normal. <laughs> no more bargly on the on the screen. How's everyone doing? <laughs> it was completely unnecessary, but I have no regrets. By the way, that wasn't even the normal birdly theme as well from the game. I um I went I, I went to YouTube and I went for Deltarune Birdly boss theme different styles and this this is called Birdly's theme but it drops harder. And then I scrolled down a little bit further and then I found a 30 minute version of it. Because of course Indeed, tentacle time. Alright. Consult diary. Not if I don't want to. Alright, how sane am I? <laughs> oh, he's getting there. In before copyright strike. I mean, yeah, the, the start of this VOD is gonna have to be cut. I'm not gonna lie. This guy looks like a Bloodborne NPC. Also, my microphone's not in the right place. Like, he looks like a Bloodborne character. Invited to a college frat party last night. Oof. I, my, uh, my college course invited me to go play laser tag at some point. Is there anything I can, like, find? Ooh. Alcohol. Yes, please. <laughs> this will affect your destiny. It, don't worry, guys. I'm just going to get absolutely smashed before I leave. Never. <laughs> you never went to the college. Oh. Nor did the person who... That's interesting. Come on, take another. It's not finished yet. Drink more, you coward. Even I can drink more than that. Before getting pissed. Just to see if there's any, like... Occultism or medical books kicking about the joint because if there is then I can upgrade those stats again you Know that Terminator and crying anime girl meme No, I don't think I do know actually When Scott sees press X to drink Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another one. I have absolutely zero regrets about that intro, by the way. Because it was funny. Uh, DM sent me a meme with that template and it fucking scares you. Oh god. Oh. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. 
However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. <laughs> Our paths crossed. <laughs> Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, the Mr. Sanders Pierce. The residence, yeah. And do <laughs> so make yourself you get to watch the stream. Oh, so. It would seem that you have much to tell me. There was a spooky painting on the wall there. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? <laughs> About 20 Yesterday, minutes ago. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. That's all I he talked about. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. I was, was also he? going loony. Were you present when he had this attack? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? He fucking died. That's what happened. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I recommend I copious amounts understand. of alcohol. How, how could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? My eloquence is like, I think my lowest stat, so that would be a bad idea. So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. No, just for that haircut. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. How did you come to meet Sarah Hawkins? We were the wealthiest and most influential families on Darkwater. Of course we would know each other. And when Charles returned from Europe with his sweet little artist, she and her sinister paintings were destined to catch my husband's eye. He bought many of her works over the last five years. They adorn his macabre gallery. Okay. I can understand pronouncing it macabre. Which is the way it's meant to be pronounced. And macabre, because that's how it looks like it's pronounced. But macarb, you can get out the fucking window. May I ask you what Miss Baker is doing here? How do you know her? My business with Miss Baker is private, Mr. Pierce. Don't give a shit. But you do know what kind of business Miss Baker is in, don't you? I am no fool. Please believe that much, at least. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. Oh, well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. 
It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. She looks way older in her little thumbnail there than she does in reality. Ooh, character point. Let's immediately spend it. Frivolously. Strength is already being upgraded. Ecology, eloquence. I'm gonna go with eloquence, because I feel like in the coming parts of the game that'll probably be quite a useful one. Now, just allow me to roam about your house looking at fucking everything. Did she really care for him, after all? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. <laughs> He's chuffed with himself, doesn't he? What? A house of artists. A house of artists. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? They were clearly banging. Sanders accession register. Because that's how it goes in these games. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Probably. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Was she jealous? <laughs> She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? A house of artists. Not the painting. Ah! Shambler. I need to see it. <laughs> Don't mind me as I whip out my lantern in the middle of your house. My apologies. Hey. I knew that we won. Allow me to look at everything in your house. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm a detective, it's okay. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. <laughs> Obviously, I can't really do it right here next to her, can I? Fuck it. Why not? Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside just, my just head. creak open the door and just chuck a match I in. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. There's a musical tone in the back there. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed 
paintings, that accursed Sarah. Why would you have two copies of the same painting right next to each other? It's just weird. Old Battlefront 2 win. Uh, uh, potentially at some point. Who knows? I could use one of those. A strange Amerindian pendant. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Ooh, almost at level three. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. It, true, it probably wouldn't be too hard to get a group to play that one. Hey. Oh, this will affect your destiny. Oh dear. Achievement beyond reality. Accept to read an unholy book. See? See you fuckers? Anyone who says the Elder Sign is a tree will die. Not by my hand, but because of the monsters that they fail to protect themselves from. It's a star. Fuckers. Huh. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come oh, looking oof. for in this gallery? Pretty high stats, Fireball. I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Nice story. Bad lie. Learn how to dupe, detective. <laughs> but as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. There's more than that, Miss Baker. So people have been talking behind my back. I was almost beginning to like you, Mr. Pierce. But it stays cat for you. You knew the Sanders? Irene is a friend of mine. Mm. And you? What brings you to the Sanders' home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Eh, yeah, fair. Oh no! Oh, is this gonna be a stealth section? These artifacts date from pre Columbian times. How the fuck do you know? There's no labels. This shit is glowing. <laughs> That's the same noise I would make when I came over here. I'd just be like, hmm. Now, there's the Shambler. I have a feeling I'm going to go over there, the Shambler's going to appear out of the painting, and I'm going to have to sneak about touching things. Probably glowy things. Pretty cool. Hell. Why was he so interested in old weapons? To stab old people. D 
Dragon Age games again, you reach Dragon Age 2 and I'm conflicted. Why are you conflicted? <laughs> A lion with a tentacle beard, that's an interesting one. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. I mean, mad lad. Don't get too close to it, just in case. Spooky. You know when you're a child and you just casually break a swan's neck. You know. I mean, that's really down to you, Fireball. There is blood on this statue. I mean, and this one. I suppose. I think I've looked at everything, so... Ooh, what's this? Is this dagger part of Sander's collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Hmm. That dagger is over here. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Yeah, but that's the that's the thing. Which makes me th believe I'm going to have to touch the painting. The shambler is going to come out of it. And uh, then I'm going to have to run over here so I can get the knife to stab him with it. Seems Cthulhu in to me and video gamey enough to make sense. Don't you hate it when that happens? What the hell was that? Hmm. <laughs> Mental trauma. Another one gained. No, wait, no, not yet. Shaken. Ooh. It does have a pretty necromancy. Necromancy? Necromorphy vibe. Yeah, you're right.
Damn. This dagger looks different. Uh, no, it doesn't. Well, right. Does it look different? I look the same. Wait, no. The one I'm after. Fuck. Uh. Shit, maybe I went to the wrong side. What the hell was that? It's fucking none of these ones. I think I was on the right side, yeah. I think I'm going to be in here for a while. It's just gonna grab me out of the damn closet, isn't it? Oh, God. oh dear. Ah! Damn it. Okay, so I do need to go across the way to. What the hell was that? Why does it give me my lantern, though? Like, I'm assuming I can't. Just shine, like, not give me my lantern, but why is it giving me refills from my lantern? Because I'm assuming I can't just, like, shine my lantern at the damn thing to make it fuck off, you know? over there. Please go away, sir. Oh, thank you. All of these are incorrect. It Not this one. Down. Did it hear that? Definitely have that. This dagger looks different.
Be gone, thought. Wait, is this one? It has to be. Like, it's making the thing glow. It's the only one which looks like that. What do I do? What the hell was that? Hmm. Redacted, are you still there? I'm about to run into the damn thing, aren't I? This is rather spooky. Well, you know, just just a just a little spooky. I know I'm gonna. I've, I shouldn't have got in, but I know if I get out now, it's gonna be right there. This does not look different. This is Down. the right dagger. This dagger looks different. Maybe I need to go stab the painting. to glow. Yep. I thought so. I figured it out eventually. From beyond and the thing on the doorstep. Ooh. Banish the dimension. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. You do? You knew. You knew about the beast. 
What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. <laughs> why, why does From Darkwater have ledgers, to have this? It was him who sold it to Sanders. You know, it seems like an odd place to have a, like, antiquity dealer, an art collector, and a, like, very prolific artist on some back-ass island in the middle of nowhere. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Keeping the fucking dagger, bitch. <laughs> this is my weird spooky knife now. Owner of the nameless bookstore. Interesting. Oh, wait. Oh dear. Where is the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Hmm. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Hmm. More lantern oil. Nice. Just in case I need my lantern for something, uh, more important. Or can I just, like, keep refilling it? If I, if I can just keep refilling it, then... I have a feeling he's up there, since that's his, like, behind-the-counter area. It would make sense. The Book of either. Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Hmm. Would you read the book? Yes. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of travelling from one dimension to another. Presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth, without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. Phantasmagorical is one of my favourite words. Because it's just absolute nonsense. But it's so good. So what's that? That's not a dimensional shambler, I don't think. Like, because the mouth's different. Um, it's a different creature. Or well, maybe it is a dimensional shambler. I don't know. That. Strange secrets. Ooh, another achievement. Just find occult items. Yeah, it makes sense.
meet the Shambler. Hey, another medicine journal. Let's do one last quick sweep, like on the ground, to see if there's any other books that I missed. And then we'll go up into the top bit because I'm fairly certain that's where I need to go. Also, I realize I haven't run an ad today, so like any newcomers will end up getting uh, the normal stuff. Like they'll end up with an ad, so... Fuck it. I think everyone that's watching right now is a fucking sub anyway, so... Yeah, I can just stand here and keep refilling. Cool. A couple of the books are slightly glowy and shit, you know. Surprise is not like letting me talk about the fact that there's fucking blood right there on the uh, door. Right? <laughs> Maybe he just forgot his key. Twenty thousand leagues under the seas. Look at all these copies of the same book. Hey, in the mouth of madness. Really certain that's uh, another Lovecraft story, isn't it? Hang on, let me find out. Oh, there's, there's, there's mountains of madness. Ah, Mountains of Madness. Okay, well, I was, I was wrong then. Clearly my knowledge of fiction is not as good as I hoped it would be. Alright, well. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. <laughs> Seems like amateur work. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. <laughs> A bleeding man. More to the point. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? Hmm. What killed all these animals? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? <laughs> There's a fucking elder sign on the door. I think I figured out what happened to him. He got zapped, clearly. What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Ah! 
Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Hmm. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Dun dun dun! I could have fucking told you that. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they are that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered. Even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Hmm. Professor Armitage of the Miskatonic University. Ah, oh, I see. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Apparently. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and the an old amulet? Center. This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch, whose purpose it is to push back the forces of the Great Old Ones, were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from the last from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. I think I may have seen that in. Did did we maybe see that in a, a previous chapter when we were in the in the house? Hmm. That was a clue, at least. Hello. A strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Aww. Is that the, is that a hound of Tindalos or something like that? Something spooky. In such regard. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. <laughs> Arkham editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Key of Solomon. Arkham editions. As a thought that other of horrors. Oh God. How many volumes are there in this collection? This is unveiled. Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions. So see if there's anything on the back. Of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Where's the... Did I see the phonograph in here, or...? A kind of chalice. Hmm. So let's fill up my oil while I'm over here.
Fuck are these like cockroaches or flies and stuff? Yeah. And a bunch of dead rats as well. It's a lot of creatures trying to get in here and then dying, I'm gonna be honest. Very odd. Medical progression book. One more, and I will have uh, leveled that skill up again. Always nice. So, oh, there it is. It was in here. I thought so. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Hmm. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay, so I'm assuming... Number 9... Is important. And it said chalice red of drops. And that'll be why it's cracked. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's five, nine, and. The queen has little protection. Was it. White soldiers, it said? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. Okay, so... We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so five, three, nine. I think those are the three numbers I need, a five, three, and nine. Whether or not it's in that order is a different question. Hey, first try. It is always nice doing that, Attila. Going through reviews and see how people's thoughts differ from yours. On, uh, movies and, and stuff like that. I like doing it too. Oh boy. Edward, did you do some drugs before you came here? <laughs> Am I back in the fucking institute?
Oh, well, when he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. Ooh, whose body? Yeah, I I agree with you there, Attila. Like he has, he definitely has a. F has a knack for um, getting the scale of a shot to feel the way it should. It's very, it's, it's very good. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care Same, of you. Same, Matilda. Same. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. I think the casting so far has been fucking great as well. Yeah. What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but... I know. I mean, I like Oscar Isaac as an actor. He's really good. I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. I think... Do you have other questions? Huh. I think I... There was something else that I saw Oscar Isaac in that wasn't obviously Star Wars. I'm just trying to remember what it was. I think it was a... It wasn't hugely recently. What are his symptoms? His um... temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color. His body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out, and I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. They threw you the did well. they threw Don't the worry. entire cast beside Let's professional, if you will. Fucking Wasser face down the toilet. Like everybody. Like they just decided, let's make everybody a side character. You know, it's so many issues with that movie. Oh yeah, isn't he being cast? I'm, I'm looking at his IMDB right here. I forgot, he's been cast as Solid Snake. I forgot about that. I have I have good, I have high hopes for that. Like, they're, they're doing a Metal Gear Solid movie and he's been cast as Snake. Oh yeah, he was fucking Voss's face. Uh, he was Apocalypse in X-Men. <laughs> Forgot about that. In the fucking X-Men Apocalypse, he was Apocalypse. I forgot. Um... Yeah, it was. It was kind of hard to know who he was behind that. But yeah, the fact that he's been cast as a Solid Snake, I've got high hopes for it now. He's also, I also forgot, he's the, uh, in the Moon Knight TV series that they're doing, he's also Moon Knight. So that's going to be cool. Show me his file. That, that's not possible. Yeah, Don't tell definitely me Dr. does. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. Yeah, he's doing what it. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. Um, coming out in the next while, he's doing 
uh, a movie, which is the first person car. It's been completed apparently. It's a uh, big gold brick. Don't know what it is. 2012, uh, 2022, the Moon Knight TV series, 2022, and then the Metal Gear Solid series, uh, the Metal Gear Solid movie rather, which is in pre-production. Uh, Francis and the Godfather uh, is also in pre-production. I don't know what this movie is. Um, and then there's another one that's been rumored. So yeah, he's he's doing a bunch of stuff at the moment, which I'm not surprised because like, despite how his character got shafted in the new Star Wars movies, he still gave enough of a performance that being part and I'm gonna be honest, being part of a Star Wars movie. Nine times out of ten, if you have a speaking role of any degree in a Star Wars movie, or of a decent degree in a Star Wars movie, it will give your career a decent boost. So, yeah, he, he was he was good, so that helped him in that regard, so he will have been catapulted a bit more. And I'm glad for that, because do, he's a really good actor. Being. Any and I quite idea like what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. Yeah, yeah, I feel you on that, Attila. Thirty-year-old. Probably how we ended up in June. Severe hypothermia, erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums, necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. He's a fishman. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch, slightly sticky. <laughs> He's a goddamn fish man. Is this your boy? Uh, what do you mean? I mean, he's he's dried out. That means he's a fish man. Uh, no, I'm playing as someone else. Currently, uh, he, uh, Edward has currently he's in the bookshop. And he read a book with a big old occult symbol on the front of it, and now his mind is in this woman. So I assume we're seeing what she's seeing, or seeing her memories or something, and she's one of the doctors uh, at the asylum. And this is some guy who's been brought in, but his condition has been hidden from this nurse here. And I'm assuming he's a fish man. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? He's I'm a not fish. Sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, yeah, he seemed I to feel you on better. that, Attila. Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Turn fins. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingers. He's not a fish, he's a squid man. What can be happening? I'm sure all you'll find an explanation. That's what it is. You have to. 
Did you examine his abdomen? A goddamn Which squiddy. Something inside. <laughs> he hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Because he too is a goddamn fish man. <laughs> I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? Probably from fucking Bloodborne Heisenberg over here. Dr. Cogden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling body temperature, his dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. Man's turning into for a fucking octopus three feet from us. He's like, no, you're overreacting. <laughs> I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patience and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. Yeah. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. <laughs> what I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something <laughs> just, from us. Just... And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. The way it's said is like, his, his methods have saved more people's lives than I can count, blah blah blah. Just makes me th like, it picture Dr. Fuller seeing someone coming in and he's going, Ah, a broken leg, have we? Octopus time. <laughs> it's just, di everything diagnosed. <laughs> Octopus time. <laughs> Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Oh, a little under the weather, Avi. This place Time to become draws a squid. you in and never lets you go. <laughs> no, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. <laughs> it's okay if this leg is broken. You still have seven more. Yeah, Donovan. precisely. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> what was this? And the answer is no. 
can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. I, I missed half of that because we were joking about squid people. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. How? Whoever this person is that they are speaking of. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Oh, I actually half expected that to be locked, I won't lie. <laughs> Just don't feel depressed, Elizabeth, yeah. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Fuck Wait a you. Minute. Where do you think you're going? I gotta rank you, bitch. Fuck off. Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Oh, I can't ring the bell. What kind of a world is this where you can't ring the bell in a video game? This place draws you in and never lets you go. Zero out of ten, never play again. The answers again. must be hidden in Fuller's office. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. You're turning into a oh. fish as well. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Yeah, I, 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 I know what I meant. I think I meant to do is like I meant to distract her. Probably have to cut off the water first, because then poor little Elizabeth is gonna have to go and talk to her, and that'll distract her. Watch out for the water, Doctor. I'm gonna stand in it just to piss you off. Fuck you. That was me, and you didn't do anything wrong. I do apologize. What the fuck are you doing here? Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy man. Well, is there He's anyone busy else who can tell people us what's squids. going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. Don't worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. Kidney but problem, is eh? In good hands. Would you like I'll to become to a squid? Myself, and keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great <laughs> to us, Doctor. Thank <laughs> Civil you. But time. those are just words, so we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. 
What's this? You have a toothache? You know what time it is. <laughs> Cephalopodification time is my is my new favorite phrase. <laughs> he broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, well, he doesn't need a spine if he's a cephalopod. Ah, a whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, that you? Yes, it's Doctor Colden. Tell me what happened. <laughs> Cephalopods don't have spines. <laughs> exactly. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, cat on the other, Never clip. and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. <laughs> no, it's true made you into an XCOM character. Perhaps. Nice. No idea. Passed Is it technically advertised? I don't... It's, nah, not really. Just check it in the Discord and have a look at it. Is this... This must be Waterface. Oh, so there's Harding. She's still sleeping. Is she turning Given into a fish? Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. You know why? Cephalopods. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Dr. Colden? Fuck you. Unnecessary. That nurse has done nothing wrong to me. I just don't like her. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric What is your, what is your accent meant to be? the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? What's this? White froth coming from his mouth. You know what else has white froth? The ocean. The waves. What lives beneath the waves? Cephalopods. <laughs> Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. It's a quiet little town. No, it's not. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... Hey, Bradley. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Dr. Colden. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Aww. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Nope, you're turning into a squid. 
So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Oh, awesome. Okay, I thought this said fight tuberculosis, obey the rules of death for a minute. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Oh, okay. This is true. You do obey the rules of death regardless. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Why not? We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, and Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. All right, let me see this clip. And he uh, got even a promotion. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. <laughs> <laughs> moving independently. <laughs> you do look pretty fun. I would think better if it was something vampire related. But uh, I'm assuming that's not a thing in the uh, XCOM world. He was excited, that was cute. Right, uh, where am I going? This way, that way. Ah, boiler room. That stock ass unlock sound, I love it. Yeah, I can't baby. shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. <laughs> where, where would I find it? Maybe in uh, through here or something. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. No, we can go. I'm the one who pays. What a pest! It's Wolverine's so amazing hair and chops, a beard, dark eye paint, night vision goggles. Nice. I require a tool of some kind. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Uh, May I feel your pain. You know who doesn't end up with hay fever? Cephalopods. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. The fuck is an organic vapor? Except of an incredibly pretentious vegan. Aha, wordplay. So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? 
I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Fair enough. Why am I in here? Should you be smoking over people's food? Seems rude. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Attila, identify. You are the food person? What is this? <laughs> Stu, that's like the safest answer you could have given. <laughs> ah. You're not allowed out. I said you're not Dr. allowed Holden. out. God damn it. Beans, maybe some meat, no potatoes. What is the point? Yeah, you would see them. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. It's temperamental. If I understand correctly. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? Oh god, your neck! I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. I mean, it's America, but it's a little, like, offshore island, Attila, so maybe not. At last, the missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal Syndrome, of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh fuck you, game! I've unlocked some oh. <laughs> patient files. I was. <laughs> Surprise! That was so quick. Right. Conclusions. Session number seventeen. Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears this to finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? She calls the mythos. Mm. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm right that Charles was keeping secrets from him. 
I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Yeah, that was that is probably the fastest I've ever completed a puzzle like that. Why is Ethan on medication? Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set them all in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. I think there's probably another little thingamajig that I need to find. It's not like the shoe. Because, um. Otherwise, the light would go away. Not the light, but like the tick would enter the center of it instead of just being at the side. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm getting that little indicator completely wrong. I have no idea what it means. And there's no, like, tutorial on it, I don't think. A little mystery things, yeah. I can't. Of course, oh, Sarah Hawkins is the connection. No, there's still something else. I think my spot hidden must be too low, maybe. Because I've looked fucking everywhere. Oh wait. Oh, no. I must go back to the basement. I should go another way. Going the complete wrong way. The basement's like over here, isn't it? How many people do you know that need three doors to their office? Well, I think two doors are a way in and out, and one of them is like a little hidden room he's got. I don't think all three were, like, entryways to his office. I'm sorry, anybody that comes at me with a shaven head, that beard, and those glasses, that's a villain. Right there. It's <laughs> used to like gaming. Oh dear. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh dear. <laughs> Those casual squiddy noises in the background. <laughs> If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! I'm no thief. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. 
Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? I was there, and then I was elsewhere. No, no. The book can't transport you. It must have been a vision. Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. <laughs> With a face like you that, I believe you. All sure. right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. There's a Drake in Arkham Horror, isn't there? Who's also, like, a uh, ma magic guy. It's Dexter Drake, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're a guy. Well, I played around as him once. And then I became Hank, the almighty god, who then attuned his own free will. <laughs> we really do need to make, like, a really spoofed up custom Eldritch, like, Elder One symbol for, or like, a page for Hank. <laughs> That's what we need to do. I know, Parlor Tricks to Sorcerer Supreme. That's really what he does, it's great. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. You have an idea? Hmm. An old diary. How old is Fuller, really? 1849, what fucking year is this? <laughs> I mean, if there was any kind of tattoo I would end up getting, the Elder Seal, Elder Sign, not Seal, Sign, is one of them. It's a really cool symbol. Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, okay, so it just, uh, told me about Cthulhu when reading that, it seems. Nineteen twenty four. So, what's that in math terms? Yeah. Like, it says that he, like, yeah, he's old as fuck right there. That's, like, how he looks now. And that is, like, 80 years ago, more or less. Well, nearly. So, if he's old as fuck 80 years ago, he is definitely, like, over 100 years old. Would you read the book? Damn Skippy. I'm definitely getting the bad ending, aren't I? That, or by getting all the occultism shit, I'll end up with the best ending. You must not read from the book! Don't worry, this one didn't have a lock on it. 
No harm ever came from reading a book, Attila. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. Oh, I'm in Fuller's office. I didn't realize somehow. What the... Fuller, too. The most trivial object. Discover all the small blue bottles. <laughs> that can be the next, uh... That'll be, th that'll be the next, um... Uh, Discord watch party. How about that? We'll all watch the mummy. I like the third one as well. Okay, so the only door I can go out is this one then, clearly. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. The third one's definitely the weakest, but it's not a bad movie by any stretch. Definitely not, Attila. That's a stupid question. The fact that I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on. The fact that Tom Cruise, when he signed on to that project, he took like on the surface, when you hear that he took a um he took a wage cut on the movie, right? However, the reason he took a wage cut was so that he could have complete creative control over the movie. And he then turned it from a monster movie into yet another Tom Cruise vanity project. Because that's when it went from a potential jumping off point for an interconnected monster universe, which would have been a cool thing, it then turned into Tom Cruise, by the way, there's some monsters in it. That's what it turned into. I fucking hate what he did to that movie. Because it could have been good. It could have been. They could have kicked off like a decent like interconnected monster world. That's a good idea. And then he turned... And then... The reason it got stomped was because of stomp Tom Cruise deciding to take complete creative control of this movie, cut down other characters' scenes, write himself a scene where he gets to get shirtless and show off his fucking 50-year-old man abs, and then have a scene where fucking, um, what's his face? Uh, the guy who plays Dr. Jekyll in it again, I've forgotten his name. What what was his name again? Uh, it's uh, Russell Crowe. That's it. Yeah, Russell Crowe has a line in that movie that only exists because Tom Cruise's fucking writer team rewrote the entire movie. He has a line in that movie where he says to Tom Cruise, "You are a younger man." Tom Cruise is older than Russell Crowe. He wrote that movie, and he wrote that line for his own fucking vanity and self-esteem. I am so bitter, because I love monster movies. I do. I love monster movies. And the concept of taking all the old universal monsters and giving them a new lease of life with, like, up, like, the new, the way the world is now, like, uh, new stories, new fucking concepts, visuals... Like, it could have been so good, and then Tom Cruise was like, Haha, no, time for everyone to see my middle tooth in all its fucking glory. Fuck off, you fucking lizard man. Honestly, I hate that man. I refuse to watch anything with Tom Cruise in it. Like, I just fucking hate him now. Like, I, I, I think I've watched... There was a movie... Like, I think the last Tom Cruise movie I watched was, um, one of the, like... I think it was, like, Mission Impossible 3? Maybe? Um, and I've just, like, hearing everything else, I have no intention to ever watch a Tom Cruise movie ever again. 
not even the draw of Morgan Freeman being in that one movie with him is has made me want to watch that movie. I was trying to find all the medical journals and shit that I saw. I don't give a shit. I refuse to give any space in my brain to Tom Cruise. I do not want to watch any of his movies ever again. Yeah, I know. I just, I have no intention of dedicating any more of my brain to that man. I, I know what I need to know about him and that as a result I know he's a cunt. That's all I need to know. From here on out, doesn't matter. Like, any movie that has Tom Cruise attached to it in any way nowadays, don't give a shit. It could be the best movie ever made, and I will still not watch it because I have my principles. <laughs> Towards the green fog. T <laughs> no! Oh, no! Ah. Oh. Um. oh my god! What, what is happening to me? Yeah, we had the Shambler briefly before. Were you, did you miss that scene, Attila? Like, there was a part of the game where you have to hide from the Shambler because it crawls out of a painting. And you have to, like, stealth around the room to find a way to send it back to where it came from. Oh, we were already fucked, man. Can I go over here? I can. <laughs> Something evil at the time. Oh, my lantern just ran what out of oil. As if I've been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed. Oh, okay. The reason I wasn't doing what I was meant to is because there are books in this place that will boost my medical knowledge. And I want to find them all before I end the scene and stuff, right? This is why I'm hunting about and not going through the way I meant to. There's none in the bit that I'm in. I don't think it's quite that cut and dry in this game, Attila, but in any other story, yes. This is a Cthulhu story, not a Shambler story. Why does the turpentine have a light on it?
Oh god, what have I done? That door has elder signs on it. I mean, that's because magic darkness uh, exists in the D and D universe, isn't it? of something. Is it going to change when I open it the other way? No? Oh, that felt like it could have been something cool. Okay. That's cool. Like what you're saying. It's pretty fun. Oh, I see, I see. I need to open the door, which is open, and then go through with this lantern, I believe. Yep, there we go. I'd rather not, big man Thulu. Okay, we're in a different starting place. <laughs> Emma, don't 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 make me get the bonk stick. I will. There's a thing there I want. Wait. Oh, I see. go around here, through here. Oh, I can't go through. Oh, okay. I need to go touch that door with the fancy light. Now in the bathroom. Destiny! It is trapped! Nah, surely not. Not gonna lie, the lantern going off did kind of freak me out. There's another 
place I need to go through. I need to get this lantern at least first. Which will presumably show me the way. Or the door at least that will show me the way. Possibly. Do I maybe need to close a couple of these ones? Let's see, will that will that do anything if I then Yes, in fact. Oh, it's here now. No, please no. I do not wish to deal with the shambly man. This is a good sequence, I'm really enjoying this, but it's freaky as fuck. I remember there was a book over here? Maybe? Proper spooks. <laughs> Indeed. So I'm looking for that symbol eventually. I'm gonna have to walk through here with this one. The, the one that I can't see properly with. Am I able to hide from it? Like, I saw a hiding place earlier. No, it still can't hide, so maybe I can just run through this room despite the fact I know that there's something weird in here. Powers that surpass you. Know you. Okay, I'll go grab the other lamp first before this one runs out. You know. Oh, there was something here I could look at. What was it? Aha! I think I need to close this one first, maybe? Maybe not. 
No, I'll... Now that I've... I don't know, we'll go through with the green lantern and see if that way is open yet. Well, can I go through here? No, nothing in here. We'll see if that way is open and if there's a symbol in there that I can... scour. If not, we'll have to close it and then come back. Or rather, we'll have to come back and then close it. The fucking shambler's gonna be out here. I just fucking know it is. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh! Oh. That one left tingles in my hands, like. <laughs> oh, that got me. Jamal, I deserve another chocolate milk for that. I'm gonna be back in a minute. Right. So, I went downstairs to get another bucket, ball, bucket, bottle of chocolate milk, and decided, oh yeah, I've got a little pack of donuts in the cupboard. 
So, I went to go open the cupboard. As I went to open the cupboard, my mum tells me to be quiet because the puppy's asleep. Which is a saving grace in all of its own. I then reach up, grab the pack of donuts, go to turn it so I can take a couple out, and I knock an open packet of Skittles, which then fall out of the packet and clatter loudly on the bunker. Puppy's still asleep, though. <laughs> the true stealth game, yeah. Keeping that little bastard asleep. <laughs> Get into the mic before it beeps at 3 a.m. Absolutely. Yeah. Looks like things are back to normal. Sure. I had to try the other two doors before trying the one that she went through. Obviously. What? No, not again. Oh, it's just like an infinite corridor. going on. It never ends. I'm going to put the donut down. I am not risking taking a mouthful of something. Because something spooky is going to happen here. What if I try going backwards? Or just run this way? Hmm. Damnation. Oh, fucking hell. That's... That's me. Oh. <laughs> oh god! That's not right. Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? So at what point is the shambler going to jump at me again? Oh, never mind. 
Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn the modification now. Oof. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Uh. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friend. You should envy her. Murder! This madness must stop. Well, she did. Looks a bit brightly colored to be dead. But, uh, yeah, she did. Hmm, no, what's out here? Huh. That is, that is a lovely void you have there. No thanks. I'm good. I'm just gonna go back in here and chill with the corpse. So let me finish my donut before you scare the shit out of me again. I'm gonna, like, step out there, and then... The shambler's gonna come sprinting at me out of the dark or something. Also, I have a theory that, um, Fuller's eyes are probably fucked up, which is why he wears the sunglasses all the time. That's my theory, at least. I feel like that's a, a sound reasoning, wouldn't you? I've got a few... I've got a few things here open that I have, like... I don't need open. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, can't see. I bet the sunlight hurts. Yeah, he, he is pale as fuck. <laughs> I am pale too. Used to be paler, but I've started going outside recently. Well, I mean, still pretty pale. Uh oh. Is, is, is it, uh, 
Oh, she's covered in paint. He gave him the gold and I... the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. <laughs> Are you feeling ill? I'm right. I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's... Is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. <laughs> yeah, let me just talk to you and Squid. Should we go with the Cthulhu option, or should we go with, like, the Eloquence one? No. Oh, I can't do it. Is not less seen the same. Oh, color. Nope, they did. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible. Terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Hmm. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no! Hey! There. Don't get far out of your dumb hiding hole. I've gone the wrong way. I'm Just on. you wait. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I probably should have booped it across the way or something. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? What the? Oh no. Hey! Oh yeah, she fucking breaks her across here. I got this. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! Oh man, my sanity is almost gone. Wait, what? I missed a bunch of sanity stuff. 
Or a bunch of mental trauma, rather. That is, um... That is not much sanity. American white girl dressed as a Japanese samurai wielding a plasma katana. Ah. Did you mean Tom Cruise? <laughs> I'd be better off finding a tool. What is it with all you fucking weaklings? That's definitely not healthy for you. All right. That should do it. Let's move. How's it going, Mr. Tentacle? Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife. My wife, you owe me obedience. <sighs> Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. <laughs> Please don't fucking cephalopod me. Escape the wheel of 
destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Two things are set Oh, he pulls it through. That <laughs> fucking random axe out of nowhere. <laughs> Interesting. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. That's a dangerous thing to say. In the Cthulhu Mythos. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm assuming that when he shoved the kid, the kid probably hit his head and went down then. So ends the reign of Denneth. <laughs> It's over now.
How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. <laughs> Pierce is just I'm like just kneeling there. <laughs> I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? No. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Yes. <laughs> Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. It's true. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. But my sanity just took another hit, didn't it? By doing that. Because that's where it is currently. I should probably not do that too much. I'll get mind flares in my brain. <clears throat> I didn't feel like there would be anything in this place, I just wanted to... Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Oh, okay. Never mind. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She was trying to send back the shell. And ended up trapping it in the painting, probably. How did she react? Was she afraid? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Hmm. Ready to do anything, and yet still dumped her in a goddamn asylum. Not exactly what I'd call husband of the year. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Time for more. Is this affecting my sanity? Oh, yeah, definitely. Something is definitely affecting it. Oh, no, that was the ritual. I think I'm definitely getting the worst ending. I have no sanity left.
Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? <laughs> this is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You can't give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Hmm. Is he really dead, though? I feel like he's going to come back for like another surprise visit. <clears throat> Alright, where's Watson's face? Through here? Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. <laughs> I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. Yeto? How do What's we up? protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? Right. By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. <laughs> Feel yes. free to ask me any Pretty question much. regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Hmm. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. 
Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know well, what he no intended to do? <laughs> Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Already has. Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce. Written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. <laughs> a genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces. Much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Hmm. I have seen this somewhere. I think it's in like the main room. Fishman statue. Or bust, rather. Nope. Hmm. I've only got one room left to search, so I mean, process of elimination. <laughs> Really? Really? You call that this hidden? This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Okay. Oh boy. 
The <laughs> sanity is so far gone. I'm almost at like master investigator. Ooh. Can I do nothing with it? Like, logically, I have to. Uh, give this back to him. Where is he again? He's, he's way, way over here. It's probably an ending where if you don't give it to him, something different happens. But it's probably him, like, preventing Cthulhu from being summoned or something. Ah, uh, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Oh, why did that sound so suspicious, man? Why are you standing over here now? I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you. Considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you hmm. seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. Of course not. This story is going to end badly. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley. You take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Interesting. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. Hmm. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. Well, you might want to try not being a fucking cephalopod, you squiddy. I bet I will. But we can't all do what we want now, can we? You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Darkwater. <laughs> Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and insulting to top it all, behavior. arson.
With all the liquor that is openly on sale in the middle of prohibition, do you really want me to believe that you're enforcing the law? Enough of that. You're not going to tell me how to do my job. I would like to point out that it is you, not me, who is behind bars. There are things going on right now that are so much more serious than what you accuse me of. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. He said I'll show you to your new residence and then just leaves me here. Like Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. Oh dear. Who's there? Um. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I am the one men named Leviathan. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. Which I came to share with you, human. <coughs> Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. So this... Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? So Leviathan and Cthulhu are not the same. Uh, is what I'm understanding, understanding from this. And Leviathan's probably just... I mean, obviously I'm gonna accept the knowledge. Where is the Oracle? We've gone so far down the fucking... The very rabbit hole at this quest. point. I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget, your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. Hmm. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! Hmm. 
Xenon, come back! So, who is Leviathan specifically then? Is he created for this, or is he normally part of the mythos anyway? Where is Algernon? And the Shambler? I can see Cat talking to someone over there. Could just be a mask of that one no Elder God. Back. Define that one Elder God. There are many. Are you meaning Cthulhu, or...? Suppose. Isn't that, um. Hypnos? He's the knowledge one, isn't he? No? I don't fucking remember. My knowledge of the Cthulhu mythos is not. As extensive as I would like it to be. Oh, that Egyptian one. Um, I think I do remember that. Uh, How many are there? Hmm. Narthotep. Is that knowledge base? We really need to play some more Asylum. Asylum? Um, Arkham Horror. Like, really do. Be so good. So much more fun. I, I really like the Cthulhu world. Hey! You can't leave us! Sorry, old friend, but it's either you or me. No! What are you. No! Open! Open! Open up! Open this door! It's here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Are you sure you want to do it? Let's go. I'll be honest, I wouldn't want to go Quickly, near that at all. Come with me. There's a blue glow, a green glow coming from under there. That's not right. How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he the first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Some oh. 
can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The Wanderer is back. The cliff is ready, sir. The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. I feel like he's gonna end up dying in this scene, which is a shame, because I kinda like him. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Probably on a wall somewhere or something. Ah, that is what I'm doing. the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. Probably. The if, it's, second glyph must have appeared. if it's smart enough Let's to write on. fucking glyphs to keep it anchored in our fucking dimension, it's smart enough to know, oh, these fuckers probably know this, they're gonna try and get rid of them. You know? He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Really, your idea is blinding him. Wow, what? Now is when matters get complicated. I'm gonna do that anyway because I'll be running for my fucking life, man. We're almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. Probably a triangular situation, so it's not there, the it's not there, me. so it's I'm probably sure. somewhere over here. No, it's right there. Oh no. Release me now! Algernon! Done! Quickly! Bring him towards me! Get dragged away. Come on. Go, 
it's over. Do you hear something? Don't... Don't do it, Sarah. I can hear him. He calls me. Sarah! No! Algernon. My old friend. It's too late. I can grab her, you muppet. <laughs> Some cephalopodian shenanigans going on over there. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it. They do. They t definitely touch your mind with their squishy tendrils. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? All right, Baldy. Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Yes, they are stupid. Goddamn idiots. What's my sanity looking like? No, oh, I can't check. No. Oh. Well, Leviathan's back. Truth seeker. I find you again. I'm still in prison, mate, so logically. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. Nice until. As your mind expands and finally oh, he's in here with me now. the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. I mean, we're this, we're this far into the fucking deep end. We might as well go down the plug hole. <laughs> um. There's probably a translator for this, isn't there? What one do I like the look of the most, though? I like this one. Come from truth seeker. Follow the path. Hey! <laughs> Same as well. <laughs> I thought you were made of the 
legacy of stuff, Detective. Fighters. Survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. The Seems a fighters, bit mean. The villagers. Me. We're all in danger. As long as you're alive. I know. That would be horrible. Isn't that essentially waterboarding Attila? Drowning, but not drowning all the way. Oh, okay. That's a bit rude. I can't go to sleep. I keep having the same dream. Or should I say nightmare? The pain in my chest is as if I was being skewered. <laughs> Being waterboarded into enlightenment. Darkness, cold, silence. Then I wake up in a hospital bed alive. That voice whispers in my mind. I keep hearing it, and I, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. Definitely do. This fate. It may have been written for both of us. It is absolutely here. doom. I do apologize. Oh, here we go. Who will be taking over this time? Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Uh, the guy on the left's being an aggressive dick, so I'm going to punch him. Actually, you just gave me an idea. I've got an achievement for that, you by the way. You can beat me as much as you want. I won't speak. And why is that? They always know what's in our heads. I. We can't even want to tell you. They will know the minute we consider telling you. Stop. You're giving me a headache. But you can look by yourself. You're clever. Yeah, yeah. She'll figure it out. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. You must be talking about the old boat repair Ooh. workshop. Yeah, they've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's who we. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? I like how we've got one rando Irish character, don't we? Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. We're in Peaky Blinders. <laughs> he does actually have the hair, this is true. <laughs> I've I have been I haven't watched that for a little while. Um, I got part way through season two. I've not finished season two yet. I don't think. Um, maybe I have. Um, the the episode the last episode I 
I'm assuming you've seen all of it, haven't you, Attila? Right? I need to be looking at the body, but where is the body? Actually, no. Okay. Um, how much have you seen? Like, what series have you got up to? Am I just being super blind? Logically follow the bloodstains. Oh, there's a fucking door here. Uh. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? We came from here. Down the stairs. So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? Cthulhu man. He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. It's Fitzroy. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. What's going on outside? I have a gun. <laughs> oh, okay. Really? Like that's all it takes to kill her? That weak ass slap. My flesh. You won't. Gets one in the head. Don't kill the Irish boy. What the hell? Dom, get out of here. Go. I'll cover you. Die, you filthy rat. Damn it. I know. <laughs> I'm just, I've just looked at the uh, achievements, right? Fucking one of them is uh, more sober than Zadok Allen. Never drink. I lost that achievement within like the first five minutes of the game. Piers, wake up. What happened? Take that weapon, you'll need it. Carol Hawking, she. Ah! What? Tell me. My head. They're coming into my head. Bradley, your eyes. Damn it. 
Pull yourself together. They got me. I can't resist any longer. I want to go with your stronger or reason with him, but... Yeah. We've been working together since I arrived here. I know you can overcome it. It's too late. I lost Sarah Hawkins. What? I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, honey? She left with the bookseller. He came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later. They saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it! I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No! Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me. I'm not gonna kill him. No. Enough killing. Idiot! Yeah! Now go, you imbecile. Oh shit, I've got fucking seven points to spend. Uh... I wouldn't have, he's my friend. Maybe I should have. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Who's there? Really? Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Ow! Ah! Uh, stop! Oh God, what am I doing? The abomination of dark water. Kill five inhabitants who are being controlled. Oof. What the? Was he like the others? What happened here? The gun hath arrived, yeah. Like an old seaway map. Yeah, no one knows. And when they found out, they ate my flesh. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. You are getting closer, truth seeker. The most precious gift of all. 
the truth, the ultimate truth about life. If I am able to resurrect life, then it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. May I can create life. Just saying, you don't need eldritch entities cre to create life. sensitivity to his dreams. Oh dear. This gift will lead him to this island. As I am the oracle, I speak for him we cannot name. Oh, hello. Done. Time to shoot more fishermen. I'm not dying in this rat hole. Come on. If I find him. What are you still doing here, Detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. Hmm. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Hurry up. from the bay immediately. Sailing boats, small boats, everything that floats. No one can escape us now. Their fates are sealed as the great lord will rise from the depths. No one can escape his grasp. Soon my brothers will rejoice because the long-awaited moment is now upon us. No, I want to save her if I can. I just don't know where I'd find a fucking first aid kit, you know? There's something else to find in this room, and I have maxed out my fucking find hidden. So, I should be able to see the damn thing. He's taking his leg. If you find everything, it turns into like a big green check. Instead of just like the little one at the net beside it. At least normally that's what happens. I don't know, I'm, I still think I might be misreading what that notification means. How many died because of this madness? <laughs> More when I find them.
<laughs> I know. What's the word for uh, disconnect between narrative and gameplay? Did <laughs> that guy just? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Is that you, detective? Lose an hour to distance. Yeah. <laughs> Can't leave the damn island, huh? I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. I'm coming back with a- I'll make it- I'm- I could- okay. Really? You're gonna give me- It looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the cult's work. Really? Like, you're gonna pull this at the very end of the game? Who's there? What's my sanity like right now? Just gone? Almost gone. Sorry. I think this is the whaling station. I don't want to go in there. Or is it? No. Uh, I need to find a... healing... Item. I have no idea where I would find one. You can obviously stealth your way through this, because otherwise there wouldn't be these wee hidey holes. And shit. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Life gives you a Glock, you shoot all who walk. What happened here? Where would I find a healing kit? I don't... Where to go? They got the boss. Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can. <sighs> one first aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it? I mean, one's got tits. Neither of them like me, so, I mean, the choice is really up to entirely personal preference at this point. Hope his boss will have more luck. Shit. They're going to the whaling station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. What if I want to shoot them?
No mercy for the fish people. The ocean's being quite squishy. What's going on? Don't remember making that much noise before. Go get me a first aid kit. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. I could have figured that out myself. Thought I saw movement for a second. Spare a fish man? Not on my watch. There is probably an achievement for making it through all of this shit without shooting anybody. That's why, like, there's sneaky areas, like, all around everything here. So you can kite round the, uh, fish people. But am I? No. Goddamn squiddies have had it too good for too long. Time to die. Damn it. Aww. It's gonna come back to bite me in the arse, isn't it? There's probably some fish person I, sh I was required to shoot or something and now I don't have a gun and I'm gonna get a bad ending. Oh well, whatever. It's happening. It's happening. I mean, we knew that. Who's there? <laughs> I don't want it, thanks. So I have one shot left. Shoot myself, but I'm not a fish man. Oh, 
cultists. Well, figured out where to go. <laughs> I'll just shoot just to see her in the back of the head. Alright, so what lunacy awaits in here? I feel like this is probably going to be like the end of the game that we're coming up to. For damn sure. Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. I have no idea how long the game has left. I'm gonna be honest. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Mm. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. Didn't even need the key, I probably could have just like lockpicked it. Doesn't you know? work. It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmare city and of a sleeping god. Locked myself in my cabin, I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has twelve men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer, I can hear them whispering. Oof. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough.
<laughs> oh, cool. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Look. Hmm. Oh. Doesn't work. This handle moves the reservoir. If I can get some momentum, it might work as a ram. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Knock knock, motherfucker. Private investigator. <laughs> My sanity just gone now. Almost. Very almost. I'm good, man. I don't wanna. Stellar larva, offspring of the Earth. Leviathan is seen, feared, worshipped, and named by men. It is linked by its dreams to the one who sleeps, and will not find rest until its divine progenitor is free. There is no greater predator on Earth, and yet this being that feeds on huge creatures will never directly attack men. It will instill fear in the dreams of Rie, and finally madness into the minds of those it chooses to serve its designs. Cursed are those who cross its path, and more cursed still those who hear its voice, because for them, no salvation in death. Well, sucks to be you! <laughs> Sanity's gone. <laughs> there is a secret, a forgotten secret so old and terrifying this is only which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence, you know the cruel and awful truth, and you have finally seen the frightening face of reality. Yep. We gone, Looney. No. That voice. You're the Leviathan. I'm not gonna look at him. Shit, I can only look at him. Fuck it. Sarah? Is that a direct quote, is it? From... Fuck it, that's cool. Oh, it spat at me! That's just mean. I'm good. Is is this the part where I answer the phone and I do just hear fish noises? Hello. Huh. 
Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Bruh! We've officially gone through my last I don't know. Wait, just if you want in that bad, just let me open the door. God. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. While the sailors were going insane, Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. An old log. It sailed from the end of dark water towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. <laughs> Whenever they see this thing of like whales that have been already killed and torn apart, like if it's in good condition, just take the whale. You know? Belonging to the captain of the Scylla. The pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Excision of the Madness Stone. Beliefs and other superstitions have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. A trepanation of the skull and excision were thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived, sometimes he was cured. Today the vocabulary has changed, but the methods little less. Don't you look at me like that. Just. Like, does it just keep regrowing these things or something? Like, what's going on here? Because, like, these look really fucking fresh. He eat his flesh while he's still alive. Well, if he's still alive, then yeah, it makes sense. For really any reason to put that back on top and above. I think he's claustrophobic. Cause like every time we're in a tight place, that's when he starts like panicking, like that, you know. Which, given he's a fucking Great War veteran, the locked on the other side. Fair. Learn to obey. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! 
Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. <sighs> Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? I'd rather not. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Those well, good guys, what we haven't. Should we just do it? Fuck it. Fish time! <laughs> Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. Well, the only thing I can pick up here is the gun. I, I killed him. Good. Necessary sacrifice. That oh, fuck. Your determination. Oh, I missed one. Because I... <sighs> Where was my last checkpoint? Bollocks! I, I killed him! Unnecessary sacrifice. That proves your determination. I didn't get to go 100% mental trauma. Because I didn't take... Because I, like, decided not to take the treatment. Fuck! Ah. Oh. Annoying. I I can't reload it. It was a well, maybe. I don't think, I think it, like, too late after that bit, because it checkpointed there. I think checkpoints basically just autosave, and there is no manual. Killed him. Unnecessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Find Find the truth and be free.
Oh. Nothing's happening. Yeah, there goes that achievement. Was it made by the same folk who made Vampire though? I don't think it was. <laughs> the one time that the game allows you to fall off a ledge, are you kidding me? Oh. Okay then. It's already pissing out gas, so it's not right there. to the middle. See. There we go. This close to an elder entity. Not the best idea. I see. You cannot escape my awareness. I follow your wanderings, your choices, your attempts to free yourself from destiny. But it is unavoidable. And as I predicted. Have come to free me. Yep. Awaken and 
Mad that I fucked that up. I mean, obviously, I fucked it up. Very annoying. It has to be the, the voice. Thing. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs> I'm fairly certain it is. Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Uh, where am I? I think we've already been here, for example. Miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. The shadow out of time, Jean Miles go. Discover all the murals of the disappeared tribe. Neat. Our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed. Survivors of the miraculous catch. Probably. Soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No. Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. No. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. Oh, okay. When I was eight, 
My little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Ford. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. This painting. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by his higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, I feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. <laughs> he looks about right for a Lovecraft protagonist at the end of the situation. <laughs> he really is. This is just Solomon after like two days. Shut up! Silence! Stop! Go away! Don't resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. This way, I'm assuming? Yes. What, am I gonna swim there? Everybody.
please. Cephalopodification time. It's happening. Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go! She is waiting. To conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? <laughs> the serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. <laughs> All to right, me, Herbert. my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. <laughs> Hi, Charles. I see you have undergone decephalopodification. You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You first took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Is you fugly. But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. Don't listen to them. They're yeah. too dangerous for your tired mind. At this point, I don't think the game will give me a choice in the end. I think it's just gonna be, yeah, you fucked up. Oh, that's cool. 
That's really cool. Oh, I saw a flash of technical there. It's right there. I'm almost there. Saved. Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! <sighs> yeah, very fitting. <gasps> Final choice. I know. I want to see it. I want to see what it looks like in the game.
If they show him, that is. <laughs> we completely cut through the side of this. <laughs> That's where it's going to end, isn't it? Also, for example, judge like by the sound I heard there, I think that was uh, either Colden or Hawkins. Achievement unlocked, the call of Cthulhu. And yes, we can do the other one now. Despite the fact that we are completely and utterly loopy.
there's two endings. I did the one where you unleash Cthulhu, and because it's saved right before that, I'm going to do the uh, one where you don't unleash him. You know, like a reasonable person should have done first time. But we are not a reasonable people. Yeah, it's part of the Cthulhu ending. I just love where you see like the flashes of tentacle and stuff in the back. And like the breaks in the cloud that show that's definitely not our stars or our worlds. Truthseeker. You were white. Yeah, all but I. What did you. <laughs> Listen to me. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. <laughs> You're on Must activation. Stop attack. this madness. God damn it, Emma. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. Can... One I'll man. I'll fucking do it. One man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker, one of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! <coughs> yeah, they are all the yeah, I mean, it's their fault for consuming what is obviously an eldritch creature. You just don't eat the giant squid, guys.
Probably something like that, yeah. There is two other endings, by the way. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you. Of course. I mean, this is the fate of most Lovecraft protagonists. Abject insanity, let's face it. Yep. Yeah. There is two other... Um, options. No, it's not the good ending. The good ending is... Leaving. I, I've looked it up. Uh, basically, you just... The good, the good ending, you don't go insane at all. Like, you um, do your best to not lose your sanity, and eventually you can just fuck off. Because they need you to perform any of the rituals. If you're not there, ritual can't happen. Neither of them. <laughs> and then there's another ending where you just fucking top yourself. Refused to, or rather, we performed a counter ritual to the Cthulhu ritual, which sealed the madness into us instead of unleashing it onto the world and freeing Cthulhu. Yeah, there we go. That was, uh... Call of Cthulhu. Chances are we won't do a... You know, like a second playthrough of this. Uh, yeah, maybe at some point, who knows. Chances are, if we, if we do anything more, we'll be doing, um... Sinking City. Because that's the other one I want to get to, because that'll be fun. Obviously. I mean, just look at the title. And these. <laughs> Until he gets the call, but we leave him on voicemail. <laughs> we can definitely find some obscure horror games. I don't want things that are just like, Ugh, scary. That's not, it's not good horror. Jump, jump scare horror is not good horror. Um... As many people have said, it's the equivalent of a comedian jumping into the crowd and tickling you. You laugh, but it's not funny comedy. Just now. Hmm. Don't, 
know what dark food is. Hmm. Let me have a look on. Steam is dark. What is this one? Dark food. It's really cheap right now, as well. Hmm. That's a top down one though. Mm. Looks good, looks interesting. Won't lie. Okay, we'll, we'll grab that at some point. Oof, that's a combination and a half. Yeah, since no one's really online right now. Um, they will just call it there. So, um, turn the light bridge. I'm happy to do that whenever. Uh, I've got it installed. Emma's got it. Attila's probably not got it yet. I think Splinter has. I think the minimum number, uh, minimum max number of players is 11. You can have a fair few players in it, so more the merrier. There's no real limit to it at this point. The light bearers. Like when we want to play it. It's the group and stuff. You can have like 11 players as like the, the lowest maximum. I think you can have more than that. So that's good. That'll be cool. It's fun. It's a, it is a fun game. Well, maybe do that for like a quick, a little stream break, um, and then we'll move on to Sinking City. How about that? <laughs> yeah. For now, I am going to. <laughs> good job, Winchester. For now, I am going to. I'm just going to end the stream, and we can. All go to bed. Uh, yeah. Okay, that does actually sound... <laughs> I need to work out how to do them on two separate screens, because I need to have the things here. I'll put them... Uh, here. Let's, I'll put the... Trigger fire shit here if I can figure out how to do it on two. Because if I do it normally and you play one, it can't. Hang on, let me see, let me show you. Um, copy. Wow. That one didn't. No, normally it's um. What's this? Normally it's uh. Normally it doubles them. Hang on. Apparently it was just being stupid. Cool. Now we have them on the screen as well. Nice. That's cause the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It's the bond and the knife. I need to That's remove that one. That one was only there because of the fucking Kyoshin meme that we were doing while we were playing uh, For Honor during the event. Because four of us made our Kyoshins look like bananas. I still have that loadout. I still use it. It's funny. Um, I need to get some Delta Rune ones. I'm not gonna lie, I've I've I, I've very much started enjoying that game. Like I, I I've fallen back into the Undertale Deltarune nostalgia thing, where like it's yeah, the memes are funny and the jokes are funny and the games themselves are funny. Um, <laughs> someone gives you for honor. 
that's not a gift, that's a curse, Winchester. <laughs> How much is it on Steam right now? I play that game too often, so if there's ever a game that you could buy for yourself, or someone could buy for you, and then we'd end up playing it, it's fucking wrong. <laughs> Starter edition. Okay, the standard edition is the one that we would get, like you, the that you should get. Um, because the standard edition is the one is like the basic base game and everything. The starter edition is. <laughs> uh, how much have I got? Let's have a look here. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck it. Ugh, the guy... Some of you know I have an issue. I have an issue. I have many issues with someone in my uh, college course, right? He's just... He's just put in the fucking WhatsApp group. And the Russian guy? No, he's not Russian. He's just an arsehole. Um, different guy. Yeah. He's just put in the WhatsApp group that we have. If I was to kill myself, would any of you give a shit? Like, mate, that's not something you ask people who barely know you. Especially when half the folk in my class are, like, depressives, neurodivergent to hell. One of them's got fucking four personalities. <laughs> he would reply with the Samaritan's phone number. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Um, fuck, Jesus. You don't put that at, like, fucking 12 o'clock. Oh, whatever. Right. Either way. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. Very much, Lee. You're all beautiful. I hope you stay that way. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Someone just like, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's harsh. But probably true. <laughs>